and this math class. In today's tutorial, we are going to be looking at why theory questions. Yeah, in this tutorial, we are going to give you questions that are likely to go to come out in this year exam. So if a candidate who is preparing for the 23 week exam, I will ask you to kindly watch book this uh, YouTube channel because why we are going to be uh, giving out questions that you are going to see for your objective and your theory. Okay, make sure you watch and subscribe. This question is one and one B, being that this question always comes out. Board mass, board mass and trigonometry ratio always come out. Please, I will advise you to kindly watch this video because why we are going to guide you on how to solve questions like this because it must come out and these questions. So, okay, now let's go to number one question. For me to solve, for me to solve this mass, I will use what they call what? Board mass. Board mass is a principle. Board mass is a principle that guides you on how to use your science to operate. And you operate with the sign that comes first. Bracket of division, multiplication, addition, and what? subtraction. So, for me to solve this kind of mass, I will solve first for the word numerator. I will solve for the word numerator first. I will solve for the numerator first. Now, the numerator have what? 1 on number 1 over 4 plus what? 7 over 9. Now, I will check very well again. I will check very well again. Yeah, now, is that bracket here? No bracket here. Is there off in this numerator or fraction? No off. Is there division? No division. Is there multiplication? No multiplication. Is there addition? Yes, there's addition between these two. So all I do, I will convert it to what? To a fraction. 4 times 1 is what? 4 plus 1. 5 over 4 plus 7 over 9 equals 2. I will find the L sum of 4 and 9. And the L sum of 4 and 9 is what? 36. The SM of 4 and 9 is what 36, 36. Bring that 4 go into 36. How many times is what? 9 times. Okay, I'll give you step by step on how to go about it so that you understand what we're doing here. Plus 9 go into 36. How many times is what? 4 times. Okay, I've been at my 7. So, what next? I have to clear the bracket. Bring that 9 times 5 is what? 45. Plus. 4 times 7 is what? 28 over 36. Okay, so what I do, I said 9 times 5 is what? 45. 4 times 7 is what? 28. Therefore, 45 plus 28 is what? Is equals to 73 over 36. Now, this is for the word numerator. So, this is for the word numerator. For the numerator. Now we we'll go back to the word denominator. Okay, so this for the numerator. We we'll now go back to the word the denominator that is there. So this is the denominator. Now let's go to the board. We have one whole number, one whole number, one over four. So one over one whole number four over nine. Sorry, four over nine minus two whole number two over three multiplied by what? 9 over 64. Okay, so all I do, I will have to convert them to what? To, in, uh, to a fraction. Mean that 9 times 1 is what? 9. And 9 plus 4 is what? 13 over 9 minus 3 times 2 is what? 6 plus 2 is what? 8 over 3. Multiply by what? 9 over 64. Okay, so the next thing to do now, okay, I'm to follow this principle again, this same board mass principle, which says I should obey the sign that comes first. So the sign that comes first is what? Bracket is not here, off is not here, division is not even here. So what is there is what? Multiplication. So multiplication come in between what? This and this, right? Since it comes between this and this, what happened? 3 divided itself is what? 1. 3 going to 9. How many times? 3 times. 8 go into itself is what? Is 1. And 8 go 
in to 64 is what? 8. Which means that I've gotten 13 over 9 minus 1 times 3 is what? 3 over 1 times 8 is what? 8. I repeat again. What happened here? Yes, 8 over 3 multiply 9 over 64. So what happened? Since multiplication comes between this place, between 8, and, uh, 8 over 3 and 9 over 64, what happened? I divided. 3 can divide itself how many times? 1 time. 3 going to 9 how many times? 3 times. 8 divide itself is what? 1. 8 go into 64 many times is 8 times. So 1 times 3 is 3. 1 multiply 8 is what? 8. So I've gotten my what? Or, or, or fraction again out. Divide between my minus equals to. We find the LCM of 9 and 8. So the LCM of 9 and 8 is what? 72. So we have 72 as our what? LCM. Being that 9 go into 72. How many times? 8 times. 8 times 13 is what? 1 gram 4. Okay, I repeat. 9 go into 72 is what? 8. 8 times 13 is what? 1 gram 4. Then we do the same thing again by saying that 8 go into minus 8 goes into 72 how many times is 9 times 9 times 3 is what 27 okay we subtract but we say 104 minus 27 is what 77 over 72 okay bring that i've got it for what for my denominator now i've got in my numerator and what denominator? I'll bring them together. All I do, I'll bring them together. I say that numerator, our numerator is equals to what? 73. Or to solve the first time over what? 36. All over our denominator. Denominator. Is equals to what? 77 over 72. Now, since we have gotten our numerator, since we have gotten our what numerator and denominator, mind look here. This is the equation, okay? This is the equation. This is the numerator, and this is the denominator. We have solved for this numerator and we got 73 over 36. We then solve for the denominator, which is this place. We got what? 77 over 72. So don't make it get confused, okay? Then what happened? We now expand them by saying equals to 73 over 36 divided by 77 over 72. Okay, do you get it now? Now what happened? I've expanded now. Numerator, this is numerator. Divided by divided by the denominator, this denominator. So what happened? We will not divide like this. We won't divide like this, even though they can divide, we won't divide it. What because why we are following the principle that say that whenever our we have division, we should change division to what multiplication by saying 73 over 36 multiply. What do you want? I'm changing this division sign to multiplication based on the word principle given to us. And if we are changing division to multiplication, what happens? The denominator becomes the numerator, and the numerator becomes the denominator, which means that 72 is now what numerator over 77 as our denominator. Now we can now so what next? We can now what divide. So we can say what can divide. This can divide itself and divide 72. Yes, this can divide itself and divide 72. So 36 divide itself is what is one. 36 goes into 72 many times, 2 times, which means that 73 times 2 is what? 146. So this times this is 146. 1 times 77 is what? 77. So this is my final answer. You can leave your answer in fraction or in mix.